Hello, and welcome back to part 13 of Dishonored. Now, last episode, we killed Campbell, we found Samuel, and now we're gonna go to the next mission. Um, whatever that is. We actually have a lot of rune suspense, so we're gonna check that out first. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I want to get. I don't know if I want to get possession or not. There seems to be a lot of little cubby holes and stuff. Uh, but let's just watch this cinematic. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Hell yeah, they will. What you mean, girl? Oh, I can't remember what her name is. But we saved her brother or something, so maybe she'll give us some sort of reward. <laughs> oh, who's shooting? I took off my mask and somebody shot. My uncle's been killed, Hello? hasn't he? I know he never came back from the meeting with High Overseer Campbell. I don't know why I expected anything else. My I saved him! To me than my father. He set a wonderful example for his family. No! What are you doing? Because I knocked him out? That's what did it? Ooh, that gives me the rustles. All right, well, I don't care that much. Going to work. We have to take down the Lord Regent. Let's come on there. See you guys. Yes. Hopefully, the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl, Emily. Poor thing. Who knows what her mind is like being there when her mother was killed? I'd Poor imagine Emily. the daughter of an empress is tougher than you think. Mm -hmm. Quite right. In Quite right. Case, we won't Quite get the Lord right. Regent until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in play. He controls the city watch. Through Campbell, he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. And he currently has a majority in Parliament. Yes, Sounds bad. I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting block for my family. I'm very much aware of that. Alright, well, that was interesting dialogue. We're gonna... Ooh, that's the wrong button. We're gonna go check out runes. We've got so many runes. We've got how many runes do we have? How many how many runes do I have? Five runes. I've got five runes. Um, Shadow kill is useless. Agility is pretty good. Bloodthirsty is useless. Vitality. Hmm, I don't really need regen that much. Possession and bend time seem to be good ones to have as well. So, um, let's see. Yeah, let's just... I don't know. Let's do... Yeah, agility. That's good. And then we'll get some bend time. Yep. Alright. Excellent. Uh... Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, if we right-click, it slows time. It's pretty obvious, but, you know, yeah. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. You did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the others. I knew you were our man. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent in measure. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord what are you doing up there? Shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Ooh. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. Oh, what are you shooting at? Why are you shooting? We must act fast. What are you doing? No doubt the Lord Regent is holding What was the point of that? Waiting to reveal him. To step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be Why are you shooting? As to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corp. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with later. Oh, I feel like we're going to get some voidy... Um, uh, not just yet. Uh, we're gonna go check out Piero, because we have a bunch of upgrades. Wow, we move pretty fast. That's cool. Alright, so, Piero. Jesus, man! Yes. What can I get? See, look, I have, like, so much stuff. I, whatever. Um, crossbow range, crossbow reload. What's combat sleep dart? Is it just faster? Um, 
Um, sword crossing. Hmm. Equipment? We need literally nothing in this entire... Um, well, yeah, we'll just get bone charms, just because, I guess. So if we get another cool one on the run, we can just, you know, use it. Uh, now can I talk to you? Sometimes I Welcome think this back, conspiracy Master feels like the start of a joke, don't you? Welcome back, An Master admiral, Corvo. an aristocrat, and an overseer walk into a bar. <laughs> I wonder what the punchline will be. Well, that's dark. Depressing. Alright, well... <gasps> Ooh, made that jump. Yes! Um, my bed's in there. Can I go up this way? Man, this double jump's insane! It's not even realistic! What's going on, man? Corvo's bed. Yes, please. Sleep. Yep. Let's see what goes on when we retire to the bedroom. Mm. Mm -mm 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 Martin is on his way to join the Loyalists, and Campbell's fate has thrown the Overseers into disarray. Decoding the High Overseers Journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Colwyn. All right. <coughs> Learn about weepers. What are weepers? I don't know. That's why we'll learn about them, obviously. Duh, why didn't I think of that? Alright. Are we in the void? Are there flying whales? No, it doesn't look like there's flying whales. Alright, well. Where is that guy? Over there? Alright, well, let's not go the safe route. That's way I too warm to rain. Not as a patron. I designed some specialized devices for them. Check the blueprints. If anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make Ooh, a piece of candy. future. I'm sorry. I only thought. Never mind. Me. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the admiral. He has news for me. All right. Well, that was weird dialogue. It seems like they were flirting or something. Hey, piece of candy. Some food that I don't actually need. Alright, well, I don't know, the dialogue here is very strange today. I'm not quite understanding a single damn thing they're telling us. What are you guys doing over here? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I tend to servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that way. Uh, already gone that route. Way ahead of you, man. In here? In here. Ooh. I didn't even see that last time I was here, alright? Oh, hmm. Open. Hello. Hello. Should I be frightened? I feel like I should be frightened. Yes, very frightened. A piece of candy will take my mind off things. Uh. Oh. Hello. Hello? How do you hear something this far down? I was expecting it to be like right there, just like. My fault, man. What's up? What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Dark vision? Okay. Got my teleporty skills. Uh. Alright. I can hear some sort of something. Alright. What's in here? Anything? Ooh. Pieces of candy? Yes. <laughs> um. Well, is that it? No. We can jump up here. Now we're back in the house. Okay. Well, we're just going to carry along. I'm not actually going to use dark sight because I can't really see anything, and it seems like we can just hear the bastard anyway. So we're just gonna anything over there? No. All right. Well, so we're just gonna go this way. Sneaky swimming. There you are. Alright, well, oh. 
So, what do you do? He's just vomiting. What do you, what do you do? Ooh, 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 no, 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 oh! You're not dead? Ooh, okay, uh, right click, yes, yep, 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 go to sleep, go to sleep, yep, mm -mm 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 -mm. you're unconscious, and you're unconscious, yeah, there you go. What the hell is this? I don't know, they're sleeping. Alright, leave them in the sewer and report back to, what's this face, what's in this direction? This place is... Why is there so much stuff under? I didn't mean to hit that person, by the way. That was an accident. Um. Okay, let's. Oh! There in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Are you scared me far more Havelock. than the weepers did? He's with Admiral Havelock now. Jesus. They want to talk to Christ. Uh, how do I get up? Wait. Where, where am I? Piece of candy? Piece of candy. Uh, so, there... Mm, mm, can I go up here? Yes. Uh, I don't think there's a point to that, but... Ooh, piece of candy. Um, no! No! Alright, well... Always taking the exciting route. I am I'm just that kind of guy. Alright. Hello, Martin. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin. An overseer before, and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. I just pushed a lever, man. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. We've done. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. Oh, well, that's the goal I was expecting. Of all places, a bathhouse for aristocrats, little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emma, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. All right, so that was kind of person. waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. All right, um, yeah, so... I was expecting far more difficulty finding Emily, but that's cool, I guess. Uh, it seems that we have to kill our friend's siblings, which is kind of messed up, I guess. Um, but, you know, we keep going, I guess. Uh, hmm. Yes, alright, so, we're going to talk to this guy? Corvo, a moment if I may. Sure, why not? Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Just loading up on alcohol. Alright, so I guess we're going over there in the next episode, of course. <laughs> Alright, so thank you for watching. Uh, this was rather uneventful, except for the beepers, the zombie dudes filled with plague and insects and oh my. Um, but maybe we'll kill somebody, or not kill, but maybe we'll strangle somebody in part 14. So thanks for watching and come back.